serve a mighty God tonight, amen. And, uh, you know, a lot of people's looking for a big, big mountain of faith to move God, amen. But you know, the uh, Bible teaches us that we got uh, faith as a grain of mustard seed, amen. We can speak to that mountain and tell it to be cast into the sea, amen. You know, we got to use what God gives us, amen. And uh, See, that, that's what the problem, it ain't that we ain't got faith tonight. He's given us faith. The Bible says he dealt to every man the measure of faith. We've got it. we just got to use it. See, we got to choose to believe God over what the world tells us. we got to choose to believe God over what our own mind tells us at times. Come on now. Huh? Our own mind can be our worst enemy at times. Amen. Gets all full of doubt and everything else. It looks at everything going around and then it wants to start doubting. Come on. But we got to grab a hold of that faith. Wait a minute. Mm. God said it. And if He said it, then it shall be. Amen. Hallelujah. We got we got to believe Him tonight, folks. Hallelujah. You get a bad doctor's report say, Well, God said that I'm healed. Jesus said I'm healed by His stripes. Now believe that over Sita that over Son of I believe the word of God over man. Come on now. Hallelujah. And the thing about Jesus, He'll never leave you, He'll never forsake you, He'll never say, I don't want nothing to do with you. Come on. Uh, he said He'd go with us unto the end of the world. Huh? Huh? What, what are you saying? Well, glory to God. We're never alone is what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Every person can forsake you in your life, but you're never alone because Jesus is right there. Hallelujah. And you know, I, I like to encourage somebody tonight. I like to encourage somebody just to keep pressing. I like to encourage even though it feels like you got something trying to hold you back. Even though it feels like you got something trying to pull you back and hold you, keep pressing. Keep pressing. Because let me tell you something, God's going to make a way. Amen. How He'll make a way where there's sinners to be no way. You want to know why? Because He is the way. Come on now. How does somebody need to hear me tonight? I'm talking about a Savior tonight that loves us. I'm talking about King Jesus. Hallelujah. The author and the finisher of our faith tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God, people try to, try to tell us what we can do and can't do. 
But if Jesus said you can do it, you can do it. Come on now. Amen. Huh? Amen. Come on, greater is he that's within you. Huh? The he that's in the world. You got the hope of glory on the inside. People just realize. Amen. See, I love church buildings. But let me tell you something. We're the church. Yeah. We're the temple. Yeah, right. We're the temple yeah. of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. But let me tell you something. He's dwelling on the inside. He's doing a work. I know the most see that little more so. And every time, I did it a little see that little more so. Every time, glory to God, we start praying in the Holy Ghost. It said over in the book of Jude for us to pray in the Holy Ghost, build ourselves up on our most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. And when we pray in the Holy Ghost, let me tell you something. An edification is coming about on the inside. Things are working on the inside, being built by the Holy Ghost of God. He's tiring down some strongholds. He's tiring down some bondage. He's tiring down some fears. Come on, somebody got that. No, 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 see that little old here. Tonight. He's breaking some spirits of depression. He's breaking some spirits of oppression. He's breaking some spirits of suicide. Come on. I'm talking about it doing a walk on the inside. Let me tell you, see that little little son and little so we get it together on the outside, and that's good. That's all good and well, but it takes God to do a work on the inside. Listen, sisters and brothers, I can be holy on the outside, but be unholy on the inside. It takes God to do a work on the inside. Make me holy there. And that holiness will spill out. Huh? Now I'm not just talking about clothing. Huh, folks? A lot of people say, well, you got to have. Listen, I believe, I, I, I'm strong believe we need to cover our nakedness because we're representing God. Amen. Amen. That's right. But the clothing ain't what's going to get us there. No, it ain't. That's right. It's what's in here. That's it's in here. What's on the inside? That's it. Hallelujah. Ma 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 ma. Hallelujah. Let me tell you. I thank God for the Holy Ghost tonight. And I know a lot of people don't believe in the Holy Ghost, but let me tell you, that's no lost. I know he's real. I know he's real. And I've been in some spots and I felt him lift up on the inside and lift me up. Because I felt like I was caving in. I felt like I was breaking. But he'd lift up on the inside. He'd place me on the inside. Child, you ain't going down. You're not collapsing today. You're carrying on for me. Come on. Somebody need to hear me tonight. Let's worship the Lord. Let's lift him up. Let's magnify his holy name tonight. Let's glorify the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Let's lift his mighty name up tonight. Glory to God. I'm not talking about some God that's dead and buried after. I'm talking about our God that died and rose again on that third and glorious day. religion, all the false religions out there can't say that. But we can. Amen. Uh, we can. We can say that he died for us and he rose again. Never to die again. Come on now. Alive forevermore. I know we'll see somebody need to hear me tonight. Who I feel the Holy Ghost in the house tonight. I feel the spirit of the living God in the house tonight. And we're just break loose. There's no telling what God will do tonight. I know there's enough faith in here tonight where our faith combined, we can move some mountains out of each other's lives. Come on! Huh? He's the deliverer. Woo! My, 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 my. Woo! I don't know whether to run, shower, or turn, or flip. Come on now. Huh? I'm tired of dead services, sister. I'm tired of people not wanting to reach out and serve God. Huh? I'm not against ball games. But that's shouting and holler. That's screaming their lungs out at a football game. They'll holler, they'll jump, they'll scream. You get them in church, 
Ni fetu yenye finu. Ha? Come on. Get an amen every once in a while. Amen. Not trying to strain the brother to get that. I'm, I'm being honest. I know we all been beat down. We all been knocked down. But when it comes to serving the Lord, when it comes to magnifying Him, when it comes to lifting Him up, we should have a spirit that says, Lord, I want to worship you. Lord, I want to magnify your name. I don't care who's looking at me. I don't care who makes fun of me. I don't care who says I've lost my mind. I've gone crazy. And I, I, they ought to just haul me off. I don't care. Let me tell you something. If you were us where I was at, under the most seat of the most soul, the miserable mess that I was in when he found me, you'd shout and run and haul, do whatever he could do. I tell you what, he's a good God tonight. Huh? You know the ones that love God the most? And this is in the Word. It's those that's been forgiven the most. Yes. Amen. 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 Huh? You give me the one that was a drug addict. You give me the one that was a drunkard. <coughs> you give me the one that was the, the harlot. Huh? Yeah, you, you just name it, the one that was the gambler, the thief, the crook. But God forgave them for each and every sin. You watch them praise God. You watch them worship the Lord. Because they know. Come on now. They know what God done for them. They know the, the shape that they were in when Jesus found them. And they're not ashamed to praise Him. Uh, uh, I got a niece right now. She may be watching that. God delivered her out some bad stuff. And she'll praise the Lord. Huh? If nobody else is praising him, you look up her, she got them hands up, she's praising him. Yes. Why? Because she knows. She knows what God brought her from. She knows what God delivered her from. Uh, I'm sure some here not know where God brought her. I know you do, sister. Amen. I know you for a while too, amen. Hallelujah. Come on now. You know where God brought you from. Let's reach out and let's give him our all tonight, folks. You say, well, all I can do is pat a foot when you pat that foot. You pat it. How do you pat it for Jesus? Come on now. All I can do is raise a hand when you raise that hand. You raise it for Jesus. Whatever you can do for God, you do it for Him. Hallelujah. Don't worry about who's looking at you. Don't worry about who will say this or that about you. Just do it. Amen. Because He's worthy, folks, to be praised tonight. I I'm fixing to get out of the way in just a minute. I feel the Holy Ghost tonight. Hallelujah. I get a little bit unwound when I feel the presence of God. I get just a little bit crazy. Come on now. A little bit at the altar. When I feel the presence of Jesus. Come on. Uh, we go all through the week being beat down. Why can't we come to church and loosen up? Come on. Huh? Working at jobs around sinners. Your spirit being vexed. Huh? You, you, you're already marked anyway. They don't send your car out here. So. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, let me tell you. Trying to pull me out. You don't want to sort out of my seat and I'm a sort. I sort out of my side. 
start praying in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Next thing I know, my battery's getting charged up a little bit more. Girl. Hallelujah. When I feel like, well, I don't know, I just need to throw my hands up. All of a sudden, no, I need to fight. Come on, I need to fight. Because we're in a war. God, yeah. Not with flesh and blood. Either. No. No. Huh? No. Come on now. No. Huh? We think it's that man, that woman we're into, but it ain't. No. No. We're in a spiritual warfare. God is an awesome God. Hallelujah. We're serving a mighty God. Brother J.R., your sister just testified her how God she went and she got them testes. Hallelujah. And the leukemia is gone. Huh? And her kidneys are functioning properly. Let me tell you something. That's God and his sister. That's what God can do, and he's the only one can do it. How many knows tonight that leukemia just don't disappear? Huh? It just don't disappear. It was God that done it. And somebody need to shout tonight. How high blood pressure can go tonight. Sugar diabetes can go tonight. Well, preacher, you're crazy. Well, call me crazy if you want to. But I'm just crazy enough to believe God for it tonight. I've seen him heal diabetes. There's a little man, Melvin Nichols, came to the church up on 900 Knox Avenue. We prayed for him. The Holy Ghost touched him. And he has diabetes left. He's never took another shot or pill. So don't tell me that God can't heal diabetes. Come on. He can. Huh? He can heal cancer. He can dry it up, brother. Come on now. Somebody hear me tonight. Uh, you might get a bad doctor's report. But believe Jesus. Believe Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody else got a song tonight. Brother, I know you sing. Come on. Come on, brother. Amen. I ain't seen him in a while. I love this brother. Amen. Hallelujah. Love you, brother. Just obey the Lord. Love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just obey God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Josh. You've been here. Woo! Glory and goodness. Amen. Blessings. Hallelujah. It's good to us. God is good to us every day. We ought to worship Him in this 
Spirit, the truth of His Word. Amen. I'll say it. This faith that I have. Well, this faith that I have for the world and give it to me. This faith that I have. For the world didn't give it to me, this faith that I have. For the world didn't give it to me, so the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. This hope that I have, for the world didn't give it to me, this hope that I have. For the world didn't give it to me, this hope that I have. For the world didn't give it to me. Take 
the way. This joy that I have for the world that you give it to me. Amen. This joy that I have for the world that you give it to me. This joy that I have for the world that you give it to me. Oh, the world that you give it and the world can't take it away. This church that I have. <coughs> Oh, the world in me, this church that I have. Oh, the world didn't give it to me, this church that I have. Oh, the world didn't give it to me, oh, the world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. I hate Jesus. Thank you. 
Can you turn the music down just a little bit, Fred? Because you couldn't hardly hear you. Couldn't hardly hear me. Yeah. Okay. That's the reason I'm asking. I don't want to. I don't want to be here every day either, or I don't want to drown somebody out. <laughs> Nobody's ears. <laughs> God, we praise you. Hallelujah. I tell you, we serve a prior answer of God tonight. That's right. We need to be giving him the glory and giving him the praise. Hallelujah. 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 God, I praise you. Hallelujah. Ooh, hallelujah, Jesus. Okay. I well, think you still put that other end, but after this, okay. Good Lord willing, we're trying to sing it. Oh, yeah. Sure. Hallelujah. Now, if I get too loud, just do like this, okay? <laughs>
aren't you glad for the preacher that you heard that took you to your knees? Hallelujah, when that Holy Ghost drawed you to that altar. Hallelujah, aren't you proud of that? I sure am. I thank God for it, hallelujah. Oh, the Holy Ghost is going to draw you, hallelujah. Oh, man. Woo, glory to God.
Amen. Good to be here tonight. Amen. Give the Lord a hand. Amen. Bring it on up. Amen. How many knows we have to have him come down to us sometimes? Amen.
increase mercy tonight. Amen. Without that mercy, it wouldn't be nothing, Sister Roberta. Come on, Brother Fred. Amen. Bless her, Jesus. Thank Bless you, Jesus. Amen. 
Okay, we've already had a Holy Ghost service already. Amen. 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 Good. Amen. Whew, hallelujah. But you can't get enough of the Holy Ghost Spirit. That's right. I'm hungry and I'm thirst after it. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want more and more and more. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Bless the Lord. God, we praise you, Lord, for this day that you give us to live and to serve you, Lord. We praise you, God, for the, the spirit that we've already felt here tonight, God. God, we pray, Lord, that you just move upon the remainder of this service, Lord. I pray for your precious anointing in my life, because, Lord, I cannot do nothing without you. God, we pray, Lord, that you just make every need in this building, God, in the name of Jesus, save the lost, heal the sick, save the people in this neighborhood. God, we pray you touch the ones that's in the hospital. And in jails and the prisons and the convalescent homes and those that are sick and shut in at home and, and don't have yes. anyone to come and take care of them. God, we pray you meet this to every need, Lord. Save our lost and our families, our neighbors, and all of our loved ones. God, just meet every need. And God, please, I pray, Lord, that you fill me with the Holy Ghost, God. I want my joy to be full in the name of Jesus, Lord. Meet every need here tonight. God, we ask it all in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. John chapter 14, this is Jesus speaking. Jesus said, Let not your heart be troubled. Oh. You believe in God, believe also in me. Hallelujah. Thank Praise you, God. If we got troubles tonight, we can bring it right up here. Right. And God will make things right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ooh, Lord God, we don't have to go back home burning like we came. Hallelujah. Amen. We serve a hearing God. Yeah. We serve a God that answers prayers. Hallelujah. Yeah. Woo! Hallelujah. Sheila behind it. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Hallelujah. Don't you want him to go and prepare a place for you? <coughs> Come on. He said he'd go and prepare your place. Yeah. If you'll live a life for him. Uh -huh. If you'll abide in Jesus. Hallelujah. He will go and prepare you a place. Yes, he will. But praise God, we're going to have to have his spirit. Yeah. He's coming back for his spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. We ain't going to go back with him if we don't have his spirit. Right. He says, we must be born again of the water and of that spirit. We have to have that Holy Ghost. Yeah. Glory. Ooh. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where, that where I am, there ye may be also. <coughs> we can be with him one day. Yeah. Hallelujah. I want him down here with me, not just up there. Amen. I don't want to walk around in this wicked world without the Holy Ghost abiding within me. Glory to God. I want to be filled with that Holy Ghost while I'm down here. Amen. And then keep it when I get up there. Hallelujah. Woo, yeah. hallelujah. That Holy Ghost will again give you freedom. It'll give you peace. Yeah, hallelujah. On, when you go into the valleys, yeah. when you go through your trials and tribulations, that Holy Ghost will take us through come there. On. Hallelujah. We can keep a smile on our face. Come hallelujah. Come when we go through the hard times. Yeah, that's good. Come on. Holy God. We serve an awesome God. We serve a loving God. Hallelujah. Woo! Glory to God. We need to give Him the praise tonight. Give Him the glory. Give Him the honor. He deserves it all. Because we went to that God's hill. Hallelujah. He gave it all. Hallelujah. He still fell beneath the load. But He didn't give up. We can't give up tonight. We gotta keep marching on, dear God. And it takes the Holy Ghost to help us do it. He said he'd never leave us. He'd never forsake us. That's right. Come on. Come on. That's right. If anybody does any backing up, it'll be us. That's right. That's right. Woo. It's no time to back up. It's time to go forward. Don't you hear that high, dear God? Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, you help us to go all the way, Lord. 
truth. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. All the truth. Come on, man. <laughs> through the hard times <laughs> and through the good times. Oh, oh, man. Man. Woo! Hallelujah. We can still joy in our tribulations. <laughs> Just keep the, your head up high, dear God. And keep Come your on. spirits lifted up. Praise God. Come on. How do you keep your spirits lifted up? You pray and you fast and you seek God's face. Amen. You get rooted and grounded in God's word. Hallelujah. That's how you keep your spirits lifted up high. Hallelujah. Study to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, but rightly divided the word of truth.
spirit stirred up in our life. We can't be like an old stagnated pond where the water's not never troubled. We gotta keep that spirit stirred up within us. We gotta push that plate back, hallelujah. And seek God's face and hunger and thirst of the righteousness, hallelujah. Oh, <laughs> And verse 4 says, And rather I go, you know, and the way, you know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Hallelujah. We've got to go through Jesus to get to the Father. Hallelujah. Woo! Oh, my God. Shh, come on, my higher. If you had known me, you should have known my Father also. And from henceforth you know him and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it's sufficient to us. In other words, it satisfies. Uh-huh. It satisfies me, praise God, to know that I got my name wrote down in the Lamb's Amen. Book of Life. Dear God, woo! That's what right, gives me peace and joy through the hard times of this life. Because <laughs> I got to look over those troubles and say, I know one day I'm fixing to leave out of this wicked joint, and praise God, I'm going to sit with the Heavenly Father. Glory to God. Amen. Come on. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Jesus. Glory, holy God. Jesus said unto him, saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believest that thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not in myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the words. He does the words, hallelujah. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than me shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Amen. Hallelujah. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Hallelujah. Praise God, we need to walk the walk and talk the talk with Jesus. Come on. The words that we speak, praise God, is edify God. Don't edify me, but edify God. Hallelujah. Or somebody can see Jesus that lives within me and want that spirit in their life. We're supposed to be walking where people can see Jesus in us. I don't want you to see Roberta. I want you to see Jesus in me. Come on. Amen. When we got Jesus in us, it's going to be manifested, dear God. We can't hide our sins. Come on. Amen. Bless Jesus. And when we got that Spirit of God, when we've been hanging out with Jesus, hallelujah, it's going to show up in your life. That's right. Amen. It's going to show up. That's right. Because your joy is going to be filled. Come on. I want my joy filled up to the top. Shoot, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He is my joy. He is my peace. Yes, he is. He is my peace in the troubles. When the storms are raging, dear God, he's still there. Yes, he is. Come on. Hallelujah. We got to trust him. Amen. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I'm going to read this verse 13 again. 
now listen close. Now Jesus said, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that means to heal whatever, save whatever, whatever that you need of God will meet that need. If it's in his will, he will do it. But it's got to be his will. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. And verse 15. Don't you tell me that you're a Christian if you get out here and talk ungodly. Come on. You run at the mouth. Come on. Your religion's vain if you can't bridle that tongue. Let me tell you something. If you ain't got the Holy Ghost living in you, you can't bridle a tongue. Because it's full of deadly poison. That's the truth. And your religion is vain Come if you on. ain't going to truly live a life. We can't live a hypocritical life. We got to come Amen. clean with God. That's right. That's right. That's right. He knows what we got in our life. He knows if we got the Holy Ghost abiding within. That's right. That's right. Or if we're playing around with the devil. Come on. Come on. Amen. We better walk the walk and talk the talk. Come on. Amen. We better Amen. walk the like Jesus, talk the like Jesus, and act the like Jesus. Amen. There you go. That's good. Come on. Or your actions tells on you. That's right. There you go. That's what manifest means. Come on. Yeah. The way you act is uh, gonna be brought out. That's right. That's right. We can't hide our sins. No. Come on. My Bible says I can't. Nobody else can either. That's right. That's right. Come on. You might hide it from your wife or hide it from your husband. Let me tell you something, there's a day coming they're going to find out. Yeah. Hallelujah. You might get, get by with a year or two or whatever. Come on. Hey, I'm going to take a chance. Amen. Come on. Today's a day of salvation. Come on. I ain't yeah. promised my next breath. Nope. I better live today like it is my last day that I'm walking upon the face Amen. of God's earth. Amen. Shoot color my shot of my heart. Bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. So verse 15, well, if you love me, keep my commandments. That's right. You can't say you love God if you ain't keep his commandments. That's right. There you go. But there's more of them than the ten hang on the wall. Yeah. We got to bye bye every bit of this Bible. Genesis all the way through the Revelation. There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on. Keep his word, whatever he has told us to do, get up and do it. Right. The gifts and the columns that were thrown down were killed. Right. That's right. If I don't preach the word, I'm going to be facing the devil one day. That's right. right. Come on. And I don't want nothing to do with that stinker. Yeah. No. Nothing. <laughs> the only fire I want burning in me, praise God, is the Holy Ghost of God. Yeah. Yeah. The Holy Ghost will burn out the impurities in your Amen. life. Amen. Get the sin out. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. It takes the Holy Ghost. Come on. Verse 16, Jesus said, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. The Holy Ghost will abide with us forever. It will live the life. That's right. Because in, in another place in the Bible, it says the Holy Ghost will not dwell in an unclean temple. So if you're out here a lot of gagging and, and sinning and you think you're getting by with it, no, you're not. No. Come on, sis. No, that's good. Come Holy on. Ghost ain't going to dwell in your heart. Praise God if you got sin in there. No. Okay. you got to come clean with God. That's right. That's right. That's right. It takes the Holy Ghost of God to keep you clean. That's right. That's right. That's, right. that's why he says pray without ceasing. Yeah. Good preaching. Amen. I have to pray for myself. I got other people to pray for. You all and anybody that I know, we need to be praying. Somebody's going to slip off into hell. Right. Don't pray. Right. Come on. I don't see nobody go to hell. Oh, nobody. Oh. When Jesus went to that cross, hallelujah, uh, and woke up his hill, he went up there for all of us, not just for me Amen. and my four and no more, but he went there for everybody. That's right. He loves everybody. He, he has no respect of persons. Right. And we can't have no respect That's of persons. That's right. There you go. 
We gotta love everybody just the same. Right. Yeah. Just like he has loved. Yeah. Sometimes it's not always easy to forgive somebody that comes against us. But if you got problems in that area, that's when you find you an order and say, God help me to forgive that person. Yeah. Believe me, I was there, uh, I think it was yesterday, having to forgive. My niece been rebellious, but praise God, I just pray God, touch her life, Lord. I give her the word. I didn't fast at her, I give her the word. You're supposed to honor your father and your mother. You're supposed to Amen. obey the ones that's over you. Amen. Same goes for any child. Yeah. Same goes for me. If there's somebody over trying to tell me to do the right thing. I'm supposed to be listening. Amen. Not being in rebellion. Rebellion is a spirit of witchcraft. Amen. Witchcraft would take you straight to hell. Amen. Amen. You don't mess around. With the devil's toys. Right. Come on. That's good. Ooh, hallelujah. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. The one that's lost cannot receive it until they're ready to give in to Jesus. Amen. Until they're ready to say, Oh God, forgive me of my wicked deeds. And I mean made it from the heart. Not just saying it from your lips out. Amen. We gotta come clean with God. Even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it sent Him not, neither knoweth Him, but ye know Him, for He dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Uh -huh. I want Jesus walking around with me, dear God. Yeah, come on. Because I can't do nothing. I can't. Even help nobody if I ain't got the Holy Ghost divine within me. I will not leave you comfortless. Uh -huh. I will come to you. Jesus will come to us if we're to need. He said to ask. We have not because we ask not. Amen. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me because I live. Ye shall live also. Uh -huh. We can go be with him one day if we live a life. And that day you shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. We're supposed to be in him, and him in us. Amen. We better have that Holy Ghost abiding within us. Hey, there ain't going to be no excuses when we stand before a just God. I'm going to give an account of every right word that I've ever spoke. Amen. We better make sure. That our sins are found out. We better make sure that we are repenting of our evil deeds. If there's any thought come across our mind, we better get rid of it. Oh, Lord, forgive me. Don't let it get planted in your heart and cause you to do something that you don't need to be doing. That's right. If I just look at a man and lust after him, I have committed adultery in my heart already. Come on. See how easy it is to sin? Come on. It's easy. And we can live for the Lord if we want to. But let me tell you something. It's going to take dedication. Amen. We have to want God. We have to want God's help. I do. He's been there for me and many a times. I could probably write a book on how God's helped me. He's been there for me. I want to see him be there for you. I want to see your his loved ones come in find a place to meet Jesus. I don't want to see nobody lost. Jesus said he'd rather nobody perish. He loves us all. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me because I live. Ye shall live also. And that day ye shall know that I am in the Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. See? 
If you keep God's commandments, that means you love him. That's the same way with my husband. If I truly love him, I'm going to be faithful to him. And if he truly loves me, he's going to be faithful to me. Same way with God. If you truly love God, you're going to be faithful to him. You're going to want to be there and say, oh, dear God, please forgive me. Anything and everything that I've done. Lord, if there's anything in my life, God, that stands between me and you, help me to get it out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today is a day of salvation. Today is a day to get your heart right with the Lord. If you feel the Holy Ghost tugging at your heart, see, that Spirit's got to draw you. Yeah. In order for you to be saved. That's right. Right. Come on. So. And he that loveth me shall be loved in my father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Amen. Amen. Judas said unto him, Not a stereo, Lord. How is it that thou will manifest thyself unto us? And not unto the world. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me, and not keepeth not my sayings, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things I have spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. When we forget things, that Holy Ghost will bring things back to our remembrance. Uh-huh. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. We don't need to be afraid of the devil. We need to stand up and put him in his place. Jesus gave us power over Satan. We have the power in the name of Jesus Christ. He gave us power over the principalities of the earth. The wickedness, we got the power over Satan. Amen. Any devil that comes a knocking at our spiritual door, Come he's got to go. He's got to flee. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Oh, man. Amen. If we stay submitted to God, the devil's got to flee. Oh, we got to have that connection with Jesus. We got to have that personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. If we expect that there will be plenty, hallelujah. We have the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We do. We can't fight him off in our with our natural flesh. He gave us that's the Holy Ghost. Uh-huh. I praise God for that. He that loveth me not, keepeth not my sayings, and the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, been yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. That's like, I don't have a lot of this Bible memorized. But the Holy Ghost, when the Spirit gets stirred up within me, it starts coming almost so fast I can't hardly get it said. But see, that's how the Holy Ghost works. Uh-huh. That's why we need to study this Word, get it planted in our heart. Where that it can come. you got to get it planted in order for it to grow and bear fruit. got to plant the seed. Right. Woo! That's, That's how we right. know each other by the fruit that we bear. Amen. There you go. Come on. Woo! Hallelujah. Right. What kind of fruit are we bearing? Is good fruit or is it bad fruit? Yeah. Come on. I tell you right now, I don't like eating grapes that taste bad. Amen. I like to eat 
them good juicy ones. Yeah. The fattest ones they are, that's my favorite. Yeah. Well, let me taste some. When I got the Holy Ghost and I can feel it, that's my, that's, I'm in my favorite place. Uh -huh. When I can feel the presence of the Holy Ghost. Yeah, the right. oh, there you go. There you go. Because let me tell you, if you ain't got the Holy Ghost abiding within you, you let somebody get up in your face saying things that don't make you happy. Come on. And you're going to want to do some swing. Uh -huh. But I tell you, when you got the Holy Ghost abiding within you, uh -huh. swinging don't even cross your mind. Because you got, you got their soul on your mind. Amen. They can only see a person saved. I'm going to be able to forgive that person for talking like that to me. Yeah. Come on. Bless the Lord. We're supposed to be thanking people's souls. Not trying to get even. Oh. Woo! Hallelujah! Vengeance belongs to the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. It don't belong to me. It belongs to the Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Yes. Who kind of my Bless the Lord. Woo! Bless Hallelujah. Jesus. Yeah. All right, let me find my spot here. <laughs> All right, I think that's on verse 28. And Jesus said, Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you love me, you would rejoice. Because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. Uh, and now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it is come to pass, you might believe. Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me. The devil's out seeking whom he may devour. He's out to destroy us. Amen. We better not be open the door for the devil to come Amen. in. Uh -huh. We got to keep that spiritual door closed That's and right. only for the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. You don't open it up. See, if somebody gets in my face saying things that they ought not say, things that stir up anger in a person, uh -huh. we've all been there. We've all done that. And if I go to shouting back things that's ungodly to that person, uh, I've opened up a door for the devil uh, to walk in and destroy this girl. Amen. Amen. We gotta keep a bridle on this tongue. Let me tell you, it takes the Holy Ghost. Because his tongue is full of deadly poison. Amen. I have to be careful what I say. I have to be careful what I look at. I have to be careful because these ears are not garbage cans. That's right. My heart don't have a garbage can in it. That's right. Amen. So what you hear, you better not be taking everything to heart. Come on. Right. Jesus said, try the spirit to see if they're of me. There you go. All right. There you go. Come on. If the things that I preach don't line up with the word of God, it's time for you would open that door and stick me out. Come on, Amen. man. Come on. If I ain't preaching the truth, you better not listen to me. Amen. That's right. Amen. You're preaching the truth. We got to be careful Amen. what we listen to. That's right. Come on. That means if you're listening to somebody preach or if you're just listening to somebody talk in the grocery store, we got to be careful. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Come on. You get around the bad spirit, it's all we get on you if you ain't careful. That's, right. Come on. That's why we need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Come on. I ain't saying the devil ain't going to fight you. Yes, he's going to oh, fight yeah. you. Until the day that you put me in a casket, he's going to fight me. Uh -huh. But we got to stay filled up with the Holy Ghost. That's right, sister. Come on. Why? Why do we go to the table in the morning? To eat our biscuits and gravy because it gives us strength. Yeah. Why do we eat God's word? Because it gives us strength. Amen. This is the bread of life. Amen. There's life in this word. Yeah. This ain't just some magazine no. that's telling you about Johnny slept with Jenny. Come on. This is the word of God. Amen. Bless her. Amen. That gives us life. It strengthens just spiritually. Come on. Yeah, come on. And we got to be filled spiritually. Come on. Yeah, come on. There's life in God's word. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah, amen. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Good, sister. Woo, hallelujah. I praise God for his word. Amen. I praise God he made a way. 
that we could get his word and get it planted in our heart. But that's why we need to study it. Because when you're studying it, it's like you're dropping the seeds of God down in your heart. Spiritually. But if you could just think of it, if we got just a grain of a mustard seed, uh-huh. look how, just think how small a grain of mustard seed is. <laughs> and it can grow, and it grows and gets big. Amen. Mustard seed gets real big. And that's why we need our faith. We need to let it grow. Uh-huh. Don't let it tie down. Keep prayed up. Keep fasted up. Keep studied up in your word. That's how it grows in us. Hallelujah. Amen. I can't expect the love of God to grow in me if I don't get planted in it. That's right. Amen. Stay in it. We gotta get rooted and grounded in it. That's right. Amen. When I got a hole. Uh, going around them tomatoes and breaking up that old hard dirt. Uh, if I don't break up the hard dirt, the tomato plant's not going to come through right. and buy tomatoes. Come on. Right. we got to keep this foul ground plowed uh, up spiritually uh, by studying God's Word. There you go. Come on. Stay at it. Amen. And the devil's going to fight you to not want you to read the Word of God. That's right. There you go. There you go. Praise God. I got a Bible app on my phone. Come on. I praise God for it. Amen. Amen. Sometimes I'm so busy that I don't have time during the day to read the Bible. I can lay in the bed. That way turning the pages don't bother Harry. Because he can't even hear it. Just push it, push it with your finger. There you go. And the words go streaming out. There you go. And it's got that white light behind it. I mean, it shines out good. Now I can read it real good. Praise God. Bless Even if we don't feel like it, I can still lay there. If I don't feel like it, uh, getting in the Bible, I can still read that Bible on my Bible app. And I praise God for it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Bless the Lord. And now I have told you before it come to pass that when it is come to pass, you might believe. Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me, but that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Arise, let us go hence. Let's get in God's word. Uh Let's get it studied out. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a good hand. grandma used to say the Holy Ghost keeps me. Amen. You know I, I know that to be true because he keeps me. Amen. Hallelujah. And I thank God for the Holy Ghost. Amen. I thank God. I thank God. Hallelujah. And I just give him glory tonight. Amen. And I enjoyed the word tonight. Amen. Give the Lord a big old hand clap tonight. Amen. As Brother J.R. gets his song tonight. If anybody has a need we'll be glad to pray for you. We'd be glad to anoint you all and pray for you. Amen. You know, uh, I know there's nothing too big for our God to do. 
whatever it may be. If you got sickness, you know God can take care of that. Amen. You got disease, He can take care of it. Come on, whatever it may be. If, it, if there's battles in your life, He can give you the strength that you need for that too. Amen. How many knows that tonight? Amen. And I just praise the Lord tonight for everything. And I give Him glory tonight. Amen. And I give Him honor. Amen. And uh, hallelujah. Uh, you find it there, Brother Jail? It's happening it there. But hallelujah. Just praise the Lord tonight. And uh, we'd be glad, as I said, to pray for you tonight and anoint you with oil. Brother Joe, I know God can dissolve that cancer amen. and put it in its place. Amen. Those that believe, if you believe not that God can do it, come on up here, please. Amen. If you believe God can do it, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Lord God, we ask, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you'll move with her brother, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Touch him, God. Give him a miracle tonight, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Give him a miracle tonight, Lord Jesus. I know you can Touch him, oh God, in Jesus. I know, Lord, that you get that fluid off of him, Lord. Lord, I know, God, that you can let the kids right in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, you should have no stripes. 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 No Oh, Lord, we ask you to come in and make it a little bit of 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 a little
of your breakthrough tonight. Huh? Praise Him. Praise Him. Huh? Let that faith and the Spirit of God rise up within you. Let Him rise up within you. I'm believing God for some souls. I'm believing God for some miracles. 
I believe in God to take and touch some people, Brother JR. I believe for some healings to take place. I believe for some deliverance to take place. I believe for some drug addicts and drunkards to, to be set free by the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost of God. Come on. Somebody needs to agree with me tonight. Come on. I'm not asking you to agree with something in the world. I'm asking you to agree with me on the things of God tonight. Every time that little tent goes up, God does something. Some of you have been under it, amen. You know what I'm talking about. God does something. Every time it goes up, it might not be the biggest, it might not be the fanciest or the prettiest in the world, but every time it goes up, the Lord up above, whoo, He does something. It's not me, it's Him. And I feel it stirring in my spirit. And I feel that anointing. Stirring on the inside. Somebody, can you feel it stirring on the inside of you tonight? Hallelujah. I'm hungry for a move of the Holy Ghost. I just don't want an everyday meeting. I want to see some people get touched by God. I want to see some people get changed by God. I'm not talking about just having an emotional experience. I'm talking about having a change on the inside. Come on. That's it. They won't want to do the things that is displeasing to God anymore. She preached it. You married, you, you don't want to do something that's displeasing to your spouse. Huh? Huh? When you're walking with Jesus, when you're married to the Lord, come on now. You don't want to do anything that's displeasing to Him. Hallelujah. I'm preaching to get out of the way. Amen. Is there anybody else tonight? Is there anybody else? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We ask God that you move, Lord. Ask God that you move and set them free, Lord. Ask that you say, God, draw on me in that Holy Ghost conviction. Draw on the Lord and save them and set them free, Lord. Set this one free, Lord, that's bound by the enemy in these areas, God. Set them free, oh God. We pray that they're all sinning out of their souls. Help this mother to have the faith, oh God, to believe you, oh God, to do it Somebody say in Jesus' name. Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there anybody else tonight? Hallelujah. Is all well with your soul tonight? Is everything okay? Amen. Is all okay tonight? Is all okay with your health tonight? Amen. We know the healer. Amen. We know the healer. His name's Jesus, the great physician. I've experienced healing. I've seen him do miracles in my own body. Amen. Hallelujah. And as I said earlier, it don't take a mountain of faith. Just that little bit of faith is a grain of mustard seed. Have you ever seen the mustard seed? It's small. Very small. And that's all it takes. That's all it takes. That's what moves God. Yep. I'm going to say something. I know this gets me in trouble. 
I believe in good works, and don't you take me wrong tonight. I believe in living right, believe in living clean, believe in good works. But it's faith that moves God. Yes, it's faith. That's the reason why the drunk on the street, huh, be sick and get healed. Come on. Like, I don't heal sinners. Well, you better go back and read your Bible. You better read your Bible. He sure does. That day was a preacher one time I had a healing ministry and he had all kinds of miracles. I mean, God just moved mightily and great. And they said, Preacher, you must be something awful special for God to move for you that way. I said, No. I simply just believe God. We make it so hard. Make it so hard, sister. I gotta get good enough for God to move for me. You'll never get good enough. No, no. Never. No. I believe in living holy. Don't believe, don't think I don't. But I'm gonna let you in on something tonight. You can't live right without Jesus. You can't live clean without him. It takes that faith to live right. And when we fall and we stumble, we stumble. We gotta hit your knees. The Bible says we got an advocate with the Father Christ Jesus, the righteous one. Huh? He was a propitiation for our sins. Well, the payment, his blood atoned for our sins. And when I slip and I fall. And you know what happened? If it's coming from a sincere heart, He forgives. If it's coming from a sincere heart. See, we, we, we make things so, so, so hard, so difficult. That's the reason why we're not seeing the Spirit of God move. Because we're trying to do it ourselves. And we just got to believe God. Come on. 
And I know it was God. Need a mower down there at Riceville. A push mower. I've been trying to find a mower and get parts, to get her to build one. And uh, the sister and her grandson wanted to uh, me to come down there and they're going to help me mow the churchyard off, you know. Amen. And with a weed eater, I was going to use a weed eater. Okay. I met them down there yesterday. And I got out and uh, went up her and she said, Brother Fred, I went and bought a lawnmower and a weed eater for the church. Brand new snapper push mower and a weed eater for the church, Brother Jay. That's God, amen? That's God. Believe me. Believe me. Did you ask that woman? For I sure did not. God knows my heart. I didn't ask that woman for it, but God showed up. Come on. He made it possible, Amen. Believe him for the impossible. Amen. Reach out and touch him and believe him for the impossible. And let me tell you something. Uh, he can get your bills paid too. Come on now. He can take care of it. I can tell you, stand here all night and tell you story after story how God has moved. Hallelujah. Story after story how he's moved in my life, moved in my finances. Uh, hallelujah. Moved in the churches. Uh, I owed money down there on the roof. Had a credit line getting that seal and put in down there at the church. Uh, hallelujah. He was going through a storm financially. Going through a hard your place. How he had my lights cut off in my home. This is where we even had Jasmine. Had the lights cut off in my home. Amen. We stand down at Mama's. Amen. Struggle with my faith. I tell God, God, how can I go up there and preach faith to these people? And here I am, no electricity at my home. Can't get it. I mean, I was struggling with my faith. But yet, I got a hold just enough. I said, God, I believe you. We sat down and listened to some gospel music. Started praising God. I repented and started thanking him for supplying the need. Started glorifying him for supplying the need. And when I got up to take prayer requests that night, how in all of a sudden there was a clank at the door. Brother Travis and Brother Martin ran out there. And there's a little box. A little silver box. I think it's like $460 in that little box. And the people of the church know what was going on. They said, you go get your electricity on. And we've got my electricity on. And we paid that ceiling off. Come on, God will supply your need if you'll just believe him. Where did it come from? It hit that door hard enough to hand it a little bit. Come on now. It might have been an angel. Who knows? Don't tell me God can't do it. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody lift him up tonight. Brother J.R., come on up here. I'm going to get out of the way and shut my big mouth. But all I want you to do is believe him. Amen. Believe him. Believe him. Believe him. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand. Amen. It's good to be here tonight. Amen. Brother Fred, have you took up the offering? No, we haven't taken one. Let's just take one up. Amen. Brother, that's blessed over the offering. Go ahead, Brett. You say it, Brett. Go ahead. Fathers, we come to you tonight, Lord. We ask you right now to move upon us. 
Father, and we ask you to bless those that can't give, those that can't give. We ask you just to lead and guide us, Lord. Lord, we ask you just to bless each one that does give. We ask you to bless them. Bless them abundantly, Lord. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Come down and be with us in Christ. Well, amen. Four o'clock on top of what they call Water Tank Hill. Behind the post office there. Amen. Been there for a long time, ain't Brother Chris? Amen. 140, maybe 150 years now. Close to it, I guess. Man. About our age. Now, has anybody got anything they want to say? Uh, I just want to thank God. Uh, it's been, I think, about a month ago. I had some tests run on my blood, and uh, all three things that they checked came back a okay. Amen. Amen. And I had to kind of run a little yeah. short on groceries, and uh, today I was told to go get some. Well, amen. And I got about, this person gave me now these groceries, probably about six, seven bags full. Wow. I guess I had to double the bags because the bags were so heavy. And I want to praise God. Well, amen. Amen. I just need a gallon of milk. A bread and jug of milk sitting there. Well, amen. Make way. I praise yes, God. He does. Amen. Yes, he does. Amen. Someone else. I thank God for the service tonight. Amen. Yes, it's been good. Amen. Yes, been good. amen. Yes, it's been good. Yes, it's been good. Yes, sir. Amen. Someone else? Uh, 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 I'm not here, but I just want to raise this one of my girls. Uh, 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 a lot more for her apartment. And her apartment is above her yard. Amen. 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 Someone else. First time being here? Yeah. Yeah. Man, we're proud to have you. Amen. We want you to come back and be with us. We've been have in Rice Church. Have you? Yeah. If you ain't, been, you ain't got nowhere to go, we'd love to have you. Amen. You got somewhere to go, stay there. <laughs> Amen. We're going to take, take you away from it. Amen. But, uh, Sister Roberta. Thank you for obeying the Lord, Amen. Amen. Good word. Amen. Yes, it was. Amen. Anybody else got anything they want to say? How much dollar? Thirty-six. Thirty-six Give the Lord a hand. Amen. I'm not going to this. I'm going to say fellowship, shake hands. God bless you.